Reaching orbit for the first time is an immensely difficult process that few companies around the world have managed to successfully complete. This goal usually includes a massive investment of both time and money, with a host of expensive failures along the way. Oftentimes, this initial goal can be the difference between a company succeeding in the long run or eventually going out of business. Just earlier this morning, Firefly Aerospace managed to successfully reach orbit on the second ever orbital test flight of Alpha. The mission, fittingly named to the Black, saw Alpha lift off from Vandenberg Space Force Base early this morning and deploy multiple payloads in orbit not long after. Being Alpha's second launch ever, this is an immense milestone for the company and very impressive as well. Just over a year ago, we watched the first flight of Alpha that was unable to reach orbit and ended with an explosion. Now, in a short period of time, Firefly applied what it learned from that first experience and now has the capability to reach orbit. Here I will go more in depth into this morning's launch, Firefly's plan going forward, the launch vehicle responsible, and more. It has been quite the journey as Firefly attempted to launch Alpha for a second time. After multiple scrubs earlier in September, they had another just before this launch. Specifically, yesterday on September 30th, Alpha was set to launch and got to T-0 with partial engine ignition before being scrubbed. At the time, Firefly tweeted saying, Update, the vehicle went into auto abort after ignition. This is designed into the system to ensure safety. The team scrubbed tonight's launch attempt and is reviewing data to determine our next launch window. Thankfully, not long after, the company highlighted that they were only hours away from a second launch attempt. Finally, after a long wait, this morning at 12.01 a.m., Alpha lifted off from the pad at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Here the rocket accelerated into the darkness and soon reached max Q without any issues. A few more minutes into the launch and Firefly announced a successful main engine cutoff. The fairings were then separated as they prepared to deploy the payloads inside. Around 12.08 a.m., Firefly tweeted mentioning, Alpha has reached orbit. FLTA-002 has gone to the black. However, this mission wasn't quite done yet as they still had to properly deploy the payloads and more. Next, the Stage 2 engine restart was confirmed. Firefly included an image from Mission Control where you can see the second stage with Earth in the background. Finally, around one hour and a half after launch, the company tweeted saying, Three payloads have been deployed successfully, and customers have confirmed acquisition of Signal. They also tweeted pointing out, 100% mission success. Congratulations to the entire team. This concluded the second ever test flight of the Alpha launch vehicle and the completion of To the Black. Taking a closer look at the payloads, there were three separate CubeSats launched. The first was from Teachers in Space and is expected to collect flight data during the mission and make it available to the educational community for analysis and comparison to data collected on other flights and vehicles. This data includes atmospheric pressure, temperature, and radiation via a match pair of Geiger counters, one wrapped in experimental radiation protection material and one unwrapped. Next, NASA had a 3U CubeSat. Specifically, the TechEd Sat 15 is a 3-unit CubeSat that weighs 9.1 pounds and carries experiments that are being advanced in TechEd Sat's Nano Orbital Workshop, or NOW, Rapid Flight Development Series. TechEd Sat 15's primary experiment is a version of an exobrake intended to survive much higher temperature environments, such as several hundred degrees higher than in previous flights. It will demonstrate the next step forward in nanosatellite's ability to target Earth as an entry point. The exobrake is a device that applies drag in Earth's atmosphere, specifically the uppermost reaches of the atmosphere, to slow the speed of a satellite's descent and change its direction. This experiment will permit the satellite to survive closer to peak heating, maintaining telemetry, and assess the dynamics as the system enters the top of the atmosphere. Finally, PicoBus launched a PicoSat deployer, meant to deploy six Pico satellites into space and test the world's first fully free and open source telecommunications constellation all of which managed to reach orbit successfully and acquire signal back to Earth. One year ago on Alpha's first mission, around two minutes into the flight, data indicated that an electrical issue caused the shutdown of one of the four first stage reaver engines on Alpha. This anomaly resulted in a safe termination of flight by the range using the flight termination system, ending the mission. It's clear this time around that Firefly fixed this issue and reached orbit for the first time. From here, Firefly has so many different opportunities. Back on February 17th, Firefly tweeted saying, The Firefly team is laser focused on reaching orbit this year. With a successful stage 2 hotfire today, both stages of our Flight 2 Alpha vehicle have now completed acceptance testing and are ready for flight. See you on the pad. Included with this tweet was a short video that began with Tom Markuzik talking a bit about what they were working on. He pointed out that in addition to the second Alpha rocket being worked on, they were also already working on two other flight vehicles in the same building. 
This suggests that by now there should be quite a bit of progress on the next launch vehicles, as Firefly now works to improve launch cadence and make reaching orbit a consistent thing. This mission was a very big deal not only for Firefly Aerospace as a company, but also the Alpha launch vehicle, which has proved itself as a viable option within the small lift launch market. Alpha has a payload capacity to LEO of 1170 kilograms and stands at just under 30 meters in length. Alpha is 100% manufactured in the USA and designed to be the most reliable small site launcher available. Alpha's pump-fed, regeneratively cooled engines use standard LOX slash RP, and its avionics system, such as the flight computer and communication system, employ cost components with established flight heritage. Modern advances in carbon composite materials are used to create strong, lightweight primary structures such as propellant tanks. Entirely manufactured and launched in the USA, Firefly is able to keep costs to a minimum while achieving unprecedented dependability. One of the most important features of Alpha is its engines. Firefly highlights that Alpha uses well-established propulsion technology. Both stages use common designs, copper region-cooled lock rp one thrust chambers, a simple tap-off cycle which drives single-shaft turbo pumps, nozzle-mounted turbine exhaust manifolds, and hydraulic actuators. Innovations in Firefly engines include the crossfire injector, tap-off geometry, trimmable propellant main valves, and ultra-compact horizontal turbo pump mounting. The upper stage engine, Lightning, includes a turbine exhaust cooled refractory metal high area ratio nozzle extension. The first stage Reaver engines feature simple single access gimbling. Consistent with the overall Alpha vehicle design, cost and performance are traded and optimized in Lightning and Reaver components to provide the best payload performance value. Just earlier today, we watched both the Reaver and Lightning engines in action as they successfully played their part in the mission. As far as the structure of Alpha, Firefly utilizes advanced carbon fiber composites for the entire airframe of the rocket including the state-of-the-art linerless cryogenic propellant tanks. This allows Firefly Alpha to lift heavier payloads than a similar metal rocket. Finally, an often overlooked part is the avionics of a launch vehicle. Firefly avionics hardware utilizes a combination of custom-designed, state-of-the-art, and commercial off-the-shelf, or COTS, components. Data acquisition is accomplished using a rugged, modular data acquisition chassis, which provides analog to digital conversion of all sensor data and further packages the data and transmits to the flight computer via an onboard Ethernet network. The flight computer incorporates all vehicle telemetry and transmits data along with the video to various Earth ground stations along the flight trajectory for the duration of the flight, all of which managed to work together in perfect harmony earlier today. It's important to point out that just because they reach orbit once doesn't mean they were guaranteed to have great success with the rocket. However, today's launch was a great mission and milestone for the company. Firefly Aerospace has been busy over the last few years as they worked on the ambitious goal of reaching orbit for the first time. This being said, earlier today they launched Alpha a part of the To the Black mission, and managed to reach orbit and deploy all the payloads as intended. This is a big deal for the company and an exciting glimpse into the possible future of Firefly Aerospace. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.